Good morning YouTube, this is Chuck Gentles, and if you're new to this channel, I'm glad you found it, and if you're not, you probably know that uh, I really enjoy doing things with metal. And if you've watched for any time at all, you know that I've, I like working with gold and silver, the precious metals, and I really like working with steel, aluminum, copper, brass bronze and I like to do melts so what we're gonna do today is I'm thinking we're gonna do a brass melt and there's if you look right here you can see the remnants right there and right there of a brass bed and if you look over here and that bucket there's all kinds of brass there's doorknobs there's faucets and if you look right behind that in that can, that is all red brass. So I've got a lot of brass uh, and it's been too hot to take it to the scrap yard. Uh, and if you look further out here, you can see aluminum. Uh, and right here, that's steel. Right there, that bucket of steel. That bucket is extruded aluminum painted. That bucket is extruded aluminum bare. Uh, right here is some more extruded aluminum. And that's painted right there. This one is this miscellaneous aluminum. Uh, this one is cast. And I've got more over here. But today I'm going to be in a shop and we're going to probably do a brass melt or a copper melt. I haven't quite decided yet. I've got so much metal now uh, because it was so hot uh, and you have to unload by hand. The metal gets hot and even if gloves on, it's, it's miserable in Arizona when you're unloading at times. But uh, we may do a copper melt. I don't know. Let's take a look. Okay, so I'm a little light on copper. I haven't been doing much with copper. This bucket is full of insulated copper here. Oh my goodness, heavy. That was heavy. This is number one bare bright. And this is number two. Very little number two here. And very little number one. But we could do a melt with that, so. I'll make a decision here in a little bit. Not sure what, how and what I want to do. Oh yeah, here's two more buckets of steel. One here and one there. So I've probably got maybe 200 pounds of steel. I don't have much steel at all, so it's hardly worth going to the yard with. But I've got enough aluminum; it might be worthwhile. So anyhow, enough jabber. I'll be back. Okay guys, I've made the decision. We're going to do a copper pour today, maybe two if I can have time. And what you're looking at here is the foundry. If you look over here, I don't know what you can see over here. Let's see. Well, right here is a fire brick that I'm going to lay the lid on when I get ready to pour. This next one is another fire brick. I'm going to put the uh, crucible on to pour where the two molds will be over here. And I'll pour with this tool right here that'll grab the crucible. Over here, where there's not near as much light bothering me, I've got several things. I've got uh, two molds, one on the ground here that you can't see behind the, the borax. That's a canister of borax. Uh, there's a mold there, a mold here. There's one pound in each of these just to touch over for dross. Beside it, the one with the little scoopy thing on the end is to pull the dross off the top after we pour the borax in. We pour borax in. We stir with this other rod here. I've got glare on my screen and I can't see again. Uh, right here. And that will uh, bring that dross up, use the scoop, get it off of there. This tool down here that looks like a long pair of pliers right here, the silver one, right there. Uh, that's what I grabbed the crucible with to take it, put it on the fire brick. Uh, these are welding gloves down here. I definitely do welding gloves, welding apron, 
leather boots. I'm wearing leather boots. I'm just going to use this propane bottle to start uh, the, uh, oh my goodness, foundry. <laughs> it's Monday morning. Okay, guys, we'll be back. Well, guys, I was going to show you the lighting of this, but I uh, wasn't thinking I went ahead and fired it off, so it's up and running now. I don't know if you can hear it. Probably can't see much right there. I'm only at uh, 15, about 15%. Leave the camera on. Let's see. Sure, I did. <laughs> okay, that ain't supposed to be on. Okay, I'm running at about 20% right now. I might have to go higher. Let me see uh, what the fire looks like. I can do this before, but I didn't do it. That's the crucible I use for aluminum. Let me get another crucible. Some air to breathe, and I'll be back. All right, guys. So, if you look at this crucible right there, that one there, you can see the aluminum. That's an aluminum crucible. I don't want to contaminate the copper, so I got this other one out here. It's sitting on the stand there. That's that's the copper crucible. But we're going to put that in the furnace uh, right now. We can put it in there right now. for a little bit. Get the apron on so I don't let that crucible heat up and in case there's any moisture in it it'll uh, burn that moisture out of it and uh, we'll be back. All right guys I'm going to check temperature. Shoot right in the hole. All this out here is not here warm enough. All right, guys, I'm about 801 degrees centigrade. So we'll put some of this copper in. Okay, we'll let that sit for just a little bit. Uh, that one piece is a little bit high, so my lid is not tight, but it's getting a lot more air, so it ought to heat up really quick. 
And then uh, I've got that one pound, I think it's one pound, two ounces in. And that lid will start settling. When it settles, I'll put some borax in it and stir, try to get the dross out. And we'll go from there. Be back. All right, guys, so I'm kind of working in the shade here now. The sun's getting a little bit higher up in the sky. Uh, if you look here, I've got the two molds sitting on top of the foundry, letting them heat up, letting the bricks heat up with the fire bricks over here on the ground or on the pad. If I can get you over there. Yeah, right there. You can see them there. That's these guys right there. We're letting those heat up with the sunlight. Then I'll hit them with a torch uh, when we get closer to ready to pour. And let's see, I'm about all I can do right here now till that starts to melt inside there. And then I'll be back. All right, guys, I had to take the lid off and push that copper down a little bit. She's melting right there, and I thought I'd give you a look in there while I'm stirring, maybe. It's like the volume of stepping on in there. Oh, yeah, it's going liquid. This is number one copper, so I'm thinking this is going to be pretty pure. I might not have to bore access. If it's hot enough, I'll heat the, preheat the bowls. Ooh, it's hot. Can't do the tip without a glove. Oh, sorry about that guys, I had left that thing on. Okay, we're gonna do the pour. We'll make an attempt at it anyhow. Okay, we're hot. We be hot. Warm. That's a warm one. You can see it cooling now. The bar is cooling. The crucible is cooling over here, over there. And uh, 
it'll shrink back a little bit. I know it looks black, but I think I'm only going to do the one pour. It's way hot in the sun right now. So let me get some water and we'll pull that bar off. Well, guys, I'm getting good at leaving that camera on. If I get enough battery. So, typically this handle doesn't get real hot. Like that. And let me get some tongs. Notice I've still got the apron and I've still got the boots, I've still got the gloves, and this is why. Instant hot water. You want coffee? There it is. It's the wrong color, but just consider it strong coffee. I'm not kidding, we'll try to get that out of there. See if I'm smart enough to do this without getting burnt. she is and we'll take it in the shop or wire, wire wheel it and uh, after we do the wire wheel it'll be pretty be back well guys here it is all I did took about five minutes and hit it with a wire wheel on all sides some sides are got really shiny like these edges they're really good and Nice and shiny on the bottom even. Got a little problem there with the, the mold was a little bit too cold. But not bad. That's not bad at all. I've seen a lot worse. So isn't this the most fun you can have with your clothes on? You know, this is this is a kick. If you ever get a chance to melt some metals, copper, aluminum, brass, bronze, make some uh, a bronze alloy. It, it's just, I don't know. I, I enjoy it. Maybe I'm I'm maybe on a sick dog. I don't know. Anyhow, if you like this video, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe, come back again, give it a great comment. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. I did.